Hey, what's up? Um, this is basically the greatest sleep habits uh, for you for success. These are basically just my sleep habits that I've basically just like honed in over the years to make my sleep just as good as possible. Like I've gone into like serious detail of this and this is going to be like extremely valuable and it's just then going to generally going to change your life because sleep is like by far like is ground zero. Like you need to get your sleep right first before like anything you want to do anything. Um, so I broke it up in sections and I'm just going to get straight into this. So for preparation, okay, the single's greatest thing that I've done is basically just put have more bedtime, more allocated bedtime. So let's say like you're sleeping for eight hours usually, like everyone says, oh, get eight hours sleep. Instead of you sleeping, you're setting your alarm for exactly eight hours from when you're going to bed, you add an extra one, two hours, just to, so we have more time in bed because not everyone has like 100% sleep quality. So obviously, because you're gonna be like tossing and turning and like thinking and stupid stuff. So like it makes more sense that if you're in bed for like let's say 10 hours, you're probably gonna be sleeping for like like good deep sleep for about eight of those hours. So just more time for bed, that's the first thing you can implement. Um, and it's gonna get you some great results. And also the second greatest thing is definitely no food for be before bed. I may even put that like above, oh my goodness, go away Grammarly. <laughs> I may even put that above more bedtime because having food before bed, first of all, like sometimes it makes it harder to fall asleep, which sucks. Uh, depending if you eat like protein, protein definitely does this. And also messes up your wake up. Uh, basically just makes you wake up feeling like you didn't even sleep which is crazy because as your body's digesting it's like it's not doing the recovery processes that sleep was made for it's just digesting your food so you're gonna wake up feeling like your body's done nothing to you like you, you're just gonna wake up feeling like you've not even slept and that's that's the worst and yeah having no food before bed going to bed like a bit a bit hungrier it's gonna, it's gonna help that immensely and these ones are quite easy just a cold room just open your windows as winter and yeah, make your room as cold as possible and just snuggle up in, <laughs> under the duvet and that will help you as well. And like, yeah, and also making your room as dark as possible. So like turning on off any lights, like like lamps, turn them off, computer lights, make sure all your computers are like sh switched off, all that stuff. Um, like any like LEDs, like I know like, um, there can be some stuff like flashing and stuff like that. I hate it. Like, I <laughs> like it just, it make it gives me like anxiety when like there's something like flashing. Like I have this, it's, it's like a lamp light, but like it's the switch to turn on the lamp and it's like flashing and like, I hate it. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, so basically just, yeah, cold room, dark as possible, easy ones. And we're going to move on to this no stimulation. And that just means that in the, the hour or like two one or two hours leading up to bed you just want absolutely no stimulation so nothing that causes you to like think and like having like a worry about um things like watching like youtube videos stuff like that or like make that makes you laugh and stuff like that that's that's really bad um anything that makes you like think and like really get hyped or laugh or make you feel emotions it's not it's not the greatest to do before bed um we want our mind to be as clear as possible and just like applying out your day the next for the next day really helps like having like an hour just to plan out like oh this is what i'm going to do tomorrow so you don't have to think and yeah stuff like um i know a lot of people say like oh play video games before bed just to wind down but it actually doesn't like your brain is actually really active like when you're playing video games when you're like watching tv stuff like that and because it's active it like it'll just take a lot longer for your like your brain to like go back down, you know, to get ready for bed. Um, like it's, it's, if you're, if you are stimulated, you can still go to sleep, but it's just that it will take longer for you to just fall asleep. If that makes sense. Um, if you've been too stimulated, like if, like if you basically just add the time that you've spent, like non, like destimulating yourself, add that to your sleep time and that's basically it that if that makes sense basically <laughs> hopefully that made sense but um if you are too simulated like let's that's it's really hard especially after work 
like is you're just going to be stimulated after work because uh, you're you just been working hard you know moving about so you're going to be a little bit like flustered and stuff like that what i usually do like i did for ages i would play like a netflix show that i've already watched so it's nothing new like nothing that's going to make me active it's just like something old i used to play avatar the last airbender like every single night i would just play it and it would just basically like, make bring something for your attention to focus on and not like your own thoughts if that makes sense and you can do this with like youtube or audiobooks like something that's just not like that stimulating like something that you're not like really going to be excited by like you you've already seen it before you already know what's going to happen and yeah and also stuff like whale noise, noises like rain noises they also help too um so yeah and basically the, the single greatest mindset for when you're sleeping is that is the I don't need a lot of sleep mindset. So let's say you set your alarm and you know like you're you're in bed and you can't sleep and you know like oh crap I'm gonna be sleep deprived tomorrow. Instead of like constantly worrying about like oh wow I need to get to sleep now, I need to get to sleep now when you can't sleep, just say like I don't need a lot of sleep. Like when you're there and like awake but like you got your eyes closed and stuff, just say like I don't need a lot of sleep. If I just like close my eyes in a dark room that's all like that's all the rest my body needs and it basically just removes like the pressure and like the sleep anxiety like oh i gotta sleep i gotta sleep and then it'll just like naturally get you to sleep so i know it's like <laughs> it's literally just like gang girls like the more needy you are for like a girl the more it's gonna run away so the more needy you are for sleep the, the less you're gonna sleep if that makes sense and yeah purchases you can get eye masks this is really good for summer winter obviously you don't really need it because it's, it, it gets dark early so which is nice and like a weighted blanket i've never used this but i think a duvet is fine especially like if it's cold but getting something like a weighted blanket is also good because it's just like just that weight on you is kind of like comforting and stuff like that um but i wouldn't really purchase too much oh also i forgot to mention zma is basically just zinc magnesium and what the hell yeah zinc and magnesium <laughs> i was like what the hell is the a <laughs> yeah the a is and so zinc and magnesium it's basically just yeah it's just a supplement that you take a bit before bed like a half an hour an hour before bed and it just helps you with like sleep and helps your fatigue in general so you're gonna wake up like feeling great basically as well but if you eat food before, it kind of does bypass this. So you want to be on like an empty stomach when you take this as well, um, like before bed, right before bed. And yeah, so going to sleep, that's pretty much covered. Um, like going to sleep is just the first part of the puzzle. We need to master your waking. So, because let's be real, you can sleep as long as you want, but if you're waking up and you're still tired, like what's the point, you know? So... This is basically just going to wake you, make you wake up and feel amazing. And the first thing is fuck snooze. Like the snooze where you like you time like the 20 minute extra, bro, get rid of that. Like even like if you set it for like an hour extra, even get rid of that, get rid of snoozing or like setting another timer for how long you want to stay in bed. If you're tired, it's either you get up or you just sleep. Like you turn off all alarms and just sleep for as long as you want. That's the that's the only two options. Like that give you like a better like start to your day. Like having that snooze, that twenty minute alarm, it just messes up your day. Like just <laughs> just destroy snooze. Like destroy the snooze button. You either get up or you just sleep there as long as you want if you're tired. And once you're ready to get up, you just need to launch yourself out of bed. Like like literally. Launch yourself out of bed. Just, just imagine like you're a rocket ship taking off. Like <laughs> just jump out of bed. Just get or, um, basically just getting out of bed is just gonna be the, the greatest thing. Cause once you're out of bed, you are gonna just you know get, get back to it and stuff like that, and you're gonna feel good. So, yeah, just get yourself out of bed as soon as possible. Because if you, the longer you stay in bed, the more tired you will be. So but it's not like you're actually tired it's just like the more like fatigued and like low energy 
you become. So you want to get out of bed as soon as possible and like throw your phone. If you have a case on your phone, this is really good. That's what I used to do. I used to just chuck it like, because I know it wouldn't break or anything if I just threw it. But like sometimes like it would make a noise where you're just like, mm, wait, did it break? And then the, your curiosity just gets you out of bed. And once you're out of bed, like you're just like, oh, okay, I'm out of bed. <laughs> like it kind of just tricks you to get out of bed. Um, but yeah. It's like you, you sometimes like it makes noises and you're just like, oh wait, did, did I actually just break? And like you kind of want to get out, but uh, yeah, just as soon as you get out of bed, just go straight to work. And yeah, just for these, like you can just like go and see which ones like you think you could implement today and just get done as soon as possible. You don't have to do like every single one. Obviously, this is just a long, long video. Um, but. Yeah, implement like something new today and just keep coming back to this and seeing if you can like implement something different each time just to make your sleep that 1% better, that incrementally bit better and it will help you out in the long run. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, take care. Have a good rest of your week.